guys, I probably look so weird right now. My eye is just driving me crazy. I don't know if it's... Um... I don't know if it's hay fever or... I don't even know what it is. But anyways, let's just jump straight into the video. Um, I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today what I'm going to do is show you guys what I wore for my graduation day. I know I've, I've been spamming you guys with graduation, with graduation photos and things like that. But along with that, I did receive a lot of questions. So I thought, let me put a post up and tell you guys to just ask me anything regarding uni and studies and subject and what I what I got and things like that. Yeah, I'm just going to do my makeup and answer your questions and guys can we just take a moment for this backdrop, this unique backdrop. Um, this was kindly given to me by P Skin Face PT um, for my birthday and I love it so much. It's so pretty. I hope it's straight though. Is it straight? I hope it is. I still love it, it's really like personalised and the design of the Anushka was made by Laura which is the Dandelion UK. She is on Instagram and it's the Dandelion UK, I'll put a link in the um, info box. But I know it's, <coughs> maybe it is hay fever, maybe it is. Okay, so for my brows I use the NYX Precision Brow Pencil, which is in the shade black. What is that? So basically we have like a water filter that makes cold and hot water in the kitchen and it makes so much noise when it wants to. So this is what the brow pencil looks like, it's so cool. And you just pull it up like this and you twist it. It's kind of like a flat pencil. Okay, let's just go on to the first question. I went to now I think a lot of you guessed it by the gown and I also did snap a few times like the campus um, and I've also met some of you at uni which is so weird and surreal but yeah I went to Brunel I studied economics and accounting at Brunel um, and I'm very 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 happy with the course I picked to be honest because is stuff that I really found interesting like there were some modules that I hated like I don't really like the economic sides of things um, but the finance bits oh my god it was just it was better for me and I really enjoyed them not to say that they were easy they were definitely very hard <laughs> but yeah let me just tell you guys a funny story I have always I always knew that I wanted to go to uni and study but I didn't know what subject to go into like at one point I wanted to be a vet and I did all the experience needed to do that and I and then I changed because I felt like I didn't have the higher grades enough to get into vet school so what I did was apply for biomed thinking that I would do the three years in biomedical sciences and then go on to doing med medicine or veterinary medicine um, which a lot of people do when they don't meet the grades because I think it's you need to like get all A's or maybe A, A, B if some universities accept that but yeah I knew I wasn't going to get the a triple A's and it wasn't even that own, uh, alone I didn't want to spend so many years in education like yeah it was the years it was a lot for me so I dropped that and I was initially accepted at Imperial College but then my grades, my maths was just, just flopped. I was I was at AAA in my first year of A levels and then it went to something not that great. Well I got A B and then the my maths grade flop, uh, went down a few grades so I couldn't go for that reason. So what I did is I got an offer by Brunel which is completely different to what, what I initially thought I was going to do. Um, I always knew that I liked maths and finance and just the business side of things. And when I look back at it, even though at first I was really worried about not liking my course because I was, I was a bit iffy on the economic side because that's all they had left. They didn't have... Um, I couldn't. I wanted to do the finance and accounting module uh, sub, um, course, 
but because of my maths grade it wouldn't allow me so I stick I stuck to economics and accounting but now when I look at it I'm so glad that it happened that way because I wouldn't have changed it I loved don't get me wrong sometimes I just hated uni and I just I was I had my lows I definitely had my lows I mean definitely I definitely stressed out and I had a lot of things going on apart from YouTube and work but a lot of things that was going on in my life during exam periods and just during my uni time that really made my made it like three times harder so yeah sometimes I did really struggle but the course itself is really helpful like it opens a lot of doors you learn so much about the business world about money finance and in terms of jobs like it definitely opens a lot of doors for jobs that I find very interesting so right now I don't know what I'm going to do but yeah I might work as in finance but yeah I don't know why I'm at that point where I'm trying to figure myself out so so sometimes you might feel like you haven't picked the right course but I definitely felt like that I really felt like oh maybe this is not for me and at the end like I'm really glad I'm really glad I did it so yeah and also I have met a lot of people who started out on a course and they didn't like it and then just changed and you have to start from zero again like at uni but at least you you know you're gonna go into something that you're gonna enjoy because it's not easy to do something that you don't really enjoy like that would be very hard so at the end I got a 2-1 which was amazing like I was so happy that I got that and yeah I'm just really pleased I'm just when I found out I was like so I, I literally start. I was on the train when I found out and I was crying like literally and I was with my friend Nina and I was like crying I was so happy obviously I was aiming for first but I was just as happy with a 2-1 If you have received a 2-2 and you know you can still have the you st the doors that the things that you want to do are still open to doing like they don't ask for 2-1 or things like that then then just graduate with a 2-2 like if you know what you want to do is still there open to you then why not just graduate and do what you wanted to do but then if it doesn't if it does close some doors then I would recommend redoing the year. Um, that's what I would recommend. If it was me, I probably would have redone the year. If it was me. Because a lot of things that I wanted to do was... I don't know if I want to do YouTube full... I'm, I am doing YouTube full time, but... I would still like to gain experience and work in the, fi in, in the finance sector and learn a lot. You know? So if I had gotten a 2-2, I would have probably done a year again. And then... Um, made sure that I had those opportunities available like if for example and also for graduate schemes I probably would have applied like so let's say I would have done another year now I would have started applying now for next year so that once I'm done and I know that I proper aim for 2-1 I know that I already have a job available if I can get that so and there's nothing wrong with it like obviously it can let some people down if you get a 2-2 but it doesn't matter like do what you have to do and do what you have to do that is best for you if that makes sense so yeah don't feel like oh that's that it's really bad that you have to do another year like don't feel like embarrassed or anything like that because to be honest I'm two years behind um, in my education but I pushed through and I still got a um, degree out of it so um, no matter how long it takes, you still get that achievement at the end. So it doesn't matter how long it takes for you to get that. As long as you get it, that's a huge achievement. So yeah. So I'm, I'm like proper talking and I've just done my brows. Let's just move on to the makeup a little bit. Um, so I took some of my Tarte Shape Tip. blending that I mean what are the cons 
I really have to think about this. While I'm thinking, I'm going to grab my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette. I always use this palette, but this shade right here. Just kind of put it in the crease. I don't ever set my base anymore, it's so weird. The pros is that you get to meet so many nice people that are mature, that are at your level of thinking. I've met such lovely people at uni and I'm just like really grateful for that because I've never had the best experience at school. Like I don't have any friends from all my previous schools. I've been to like seven schools in total. I've moved a lot and I've just never had the greatest experiences with girls and you know, I just don't have any old friends. Like I do have some that follow me on Instagram that I went to primary with. Yeah. I don't know, because I've changed so much, I never got to keep the good ones and keep in contact with them, because I would literally change country. So, yeah, I'm just really grateful for the friends that I've met at uni. University can definitely be stressful. Like, the amount of work that is given to you is insane. The amount of revision content that you have to revise is definitely... Oh my god, it's just stressful i think the amount of stress can be a con but i think it teaches you how to handle situations like that you know if it was just easy what's the point of going to uni like, a lot of times i wouldn't go in because of the travel like it was just so so much travel for just an hour lecture or two hours lecture which was still and the lectures were available online and i can just read them myself and go through them myself and i'm a really big independent learner so what I would find that is that the lecturer would read off the slides and I wouldn't learn much but what I would go to was the seminars which was more helpful and needed but I don't think being on campus would have been for me because I'm very close to my family and I like my home like I said at first when I was going to lectures I would print out the lecture notes and then take notes on them whilst the um, lecturer was talking but I felt like that wasn't really helpful for me, so I would rarely go into lectures, only the very important ones, if I'm honest with you guys. Um, I would go to the seminars and really like make sure to practice the questions and see how they're calculated, because a lot of our stuff was maths based. So yeah, I would do that. And when I was at home, um, I remember by writing, so I would just write, try to understand the content and then write, rewrite what I've understood. And that made me remember a bit better. So yeah, that's what I would do. My brother is so different, like what he does, he takes the little tablet that he writes with and he goes into lecture and writes everything and takes notes. So it depends on the person really. Then I'm taking a bit of cocoa, which is this shade right here. And this is going to go in the inner and outer corner. And also a little bit in the crease. A lot of people ask me how did I balance all like work, uni and YouTube. I don't know. I honestly don't know how to answer that question. Apart from the fact that I manage my time very well. Like I say, today I'm going to do this, this, this and this. And I won't sleep until I've done that, that and that. Don't get me wrong though. I did have some days where I've, I was very stressed. Because there was just so much on my plate. I did leave my job in January. Because I just needed to let go of something. Because it was just getting too much. Obviously a lot of work goes into YouTube as well. Not only with just video making and editing. But also re replying to emails which takes so long. Working with brands. Meeting them. Going to events. It just takes. It's very time consuming. It's consuming. And it's almost like a full time job. I always had a diary. And I planned everything out. And that's what seemed to help me. Don't get me wrong. I did have to. So at the beginning I, w I did have trouble prioritizing things so like I would do more YouTube than study in my first and second year but in my third year that's where I I kind of reduced the amount of times I um, uploaded and concentrated more on uni and I really had to prioritize on that so yeah you really need to prioritize manage your time well if you're gonna spend one sometimes I'll just spend one day on filming, editing, and scheduling everything for the whole week, and then the whole rest of the week would be just for revision, uni, and all that. So, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna take some of our Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again, and we're gonna carve the center bit. And then 
straight away I'm going to take um, a bit of moon dust and I just pack that on. I wet my brush and I took a bit of moon dust and we packed it on there and then on the side so this is the this is the shade that I took in the center and this is what I'm using on the sides to blend it hashtag blessed and just digitally tap it on the sides and it kind of like blends the two together I don't think I ever regretted going to uni to be honest I'm just when I think about it now I'm just glad I went through the whole experience and I'm I can tell my kids that one day that I have been to uni and I did that and I stuck for it. I mean, second year was when I was really like struggling and I was just like, I'm sick of it. I can't deal with it. It's too much stress. I just have so much on my plate. And I had good people, I had good people around me that was always motivating me and things like that. So yeah, I think it, you also need positive people around you, no negativity, because trust me, I had that in the beginning. So for my A-levels, I did French, Biology and Maths. So for my first year students, please don't do like I did, because basically, first year don't count for us. Like, nothing counts whatsoever. So I didn't put as much effort as I kind of wished I should have, you know, because... I think it really prepares you for the following years. The second and third year gets much harder and I really struggle, struggled with um, um, making sure that I cover all of the content before my exam comes up. So, and we all, all my friends would be like, no, this year we have to make sure that we start well early, blah, blah, blah. But we'd always leave it to like two months before. Or in my first year, it was like, I was revising like maybe a month or two weeks before exams which is awful so yeah definitely do your best starting from first year because my brother did that and he's got first straight away so it really trains you to do the work for second and third year and try to enjoy it I think the first year is where you really get to enjoy it you know make friends go to like the parties they have on um, on campus. I don't really do that, so that wasn't for me. Try to take part in extracurricular activities. They will come in handy when you start looking for a job, honestly. So, yeah, that would be my advice. Just enjoy it. Okay, my right eye is not as great, this one, but it's okay. I definitely didn't, didn't do any eyeliner, so I'm just gonna put some lashes on. I think these are the ones I wore on the day. They don't, these are from Crystal Eyes, but there's no name on it. Oh, there is Mona. These are what the lashes look like. I remember exactly my first day at uni. It was kind of like an induction day and I had, I didn't know anyone, anyone at all. And I was just there by myself. And I walked up to one of my friends, Karishma, who was also by herself, and I just started talking to her. And till this day, like, we're just, we're still good friends, and we always talk about it. We're just like, can you remember that day when I walked up to you? And it was just so weird, like, you really, I don't have a problem going up to people and talking to them. But you really have to step out your comfort zone and be, if you're by yourself and you see someone else by themselves, go up to them and be like, hey, like, what are you studying? Think about questions in your head before you go to uni so that you can talk about stuff like when you meet the person it's just it's not awkward and then after that it just flowed like i met the others like as time went by and we really like got along and yeah i have to say the i mean it's not hard like if you really put your head to it and really follow the lessons and do the work it's not hard it will be challenging it's not impossible to do, it will definitely challenge you and push you, but it's not hard, like, you're gonna, sometimes I did, I was just like, what am I doing, like, what am I staring at, but I had my friends to help me and explain every now and then, so, yeah, it, it does go to some next level when you go to uni, but it's doable, like, if you follow the work, the lessons, the, the resources provided, trust me, it, it does help. Mine was, I mean... 
when I look back at it, it's weird. I kind of miss it. It's so weird. Like, now I'm just like, what do I do with my life, you know? For mascara, I use the Caution um, Extreme Lash Mascara. M -m mascara. <laughs> mascara by Hourglass. I'm, I'm not, like, some people love it for, like, the kind of party nights and things like that. But that wasn't really, for, I'm not really someone that does that, to be honest, like... I'm a very chilled out person and most of the time I'm at home and what I love to do is going to cinema or dinners, eating with my friends, with family. I don't really go like clubbing and stuff, it's just not my thing but a lot of people I guess like that. But when I really liked when I came in and we were just all together and when me and my friends would go out together we just made so many good memories. Like when we would giggle and snap in lectures, just all of those memories I will cherish forever. I think I touched up on all the questions to be honest that you guys asked. I just generalised them because a lot of them were repeated. A lot of you wanted to know what I studied and what I got. I think the main lesson I learnt from uni was perseverance. To go through it no matter what was t said to me, what people thought. I persevered, I went through it, and I just kept going. I never stopped. Yes, there were ups and downs. Yes, there was times where I felt like I wanted to just give it all up. And, you know, just felt like the world was ending, really. Like, I definitely had my stressy moments. Because it does get a lot at one point. Like, you just stress so well and you want to make sure that you do really well and get the right grades. Having someone um, tell you that you're not going to pass and not get through uni which was a major part of my life like it just feels weird I feel like something is missing from me now because it was just such a big focus on my life life the past three years now that it's no longer here it does feel a bit weird but yeah having someone say that really does knock your confidence down and you know you question yourself but I'm so glad for myself that I went through it and I persevered and I I, I believed in myself I, my graduation day was such a proud day. I felt so proud of myself. I was so happy to make my mum proud, my family proud. It was just such a nice day and it was just all worth it. It's such a proud moment, honestly. I can't explain the feeling because so much hard work goes into it. And just in life in general, if you are, if someone tells you you can't have this or you can't do this, please, please don't believe them. Like, yes, you're gonna have some doors shut in, shut in your face but you just need to keep pushing and going and one day it will come like your time will come so please don't if you get these kind of like negativity negative um comments and things like that just don't believe them do you believe in yourself and just keep pushing yourself and yeah okay i think my lashes are on now we can go on to the face so those were my eyes for graduation. I, I'm kind of happy I went with this because this kind of look goes with anything, really. Okay, what did I do with my face? I definitely put some of my NYX Do Me Up primer. This primer is so good. It's really gloopy, by the way, but I love it. It makes your skin, like, glow. Feels so hydrated as well. What else do I have to say about uni? I think that's it. I don't have anything else to say. Um, I'm in final year university and I'm going to be doing my dissertation next year. I'm so nervous. How do you work to try and achieve at least a 2-1 or a first? So in my, two, in my dissertation, my project, I got a first, which I was really surprised about. But I'm, I was happy because I did put a lot of work into it. But my word count was so much less compared to everyone else's so I was just like oh my god and plus we had to make so I remember when we were giving it in I did my um I did my referencing all wrong and I, I some people would walk by and they were like your referencing is wrong so I had to like change it all like 20 minutes before I had to like give it in and we were all panicking yeah I don't know it was so funny like <laughs> even that's memories like we were just all shaking like my hand was shaking and I really, I did question it, but I feel like what we did for our dissertation was, because all my friends did really well as well, what we did was made sure that we went above and beyond what we were supposed to, supposed to do. So we did what we were supposed to do, but we provided more information, we ran more tests, 
um, it was an econometrics or economics based project so you have to run tests and things like that and we did more than we had to and we kind of showed an understanding and did research about them and I think they were really happy with that. You have to make sure that you read it so many times, make sure that your referencing is right, don't do it like me, do it last minute, but make sure your referencing is correct because you know when you reference like three or more authors you have to do et al and I didn't do that. I wrote all the names and it was just, oh my god, it was a disaster. Give yourself time, don't do it lastminute.com, please. Um, Make sure you're referencing well, look at your language. Grammarly is very helpful to make sure that you're writing, um, like just like your spelling and everything is correct. Do as much research, get as much resources as you can. I had like, I think I had like between 17 to 20 resources. But yeah, I was really happy I did really well in my dissertation. That just, that just meant so much to me. And also make sure you do a topic that you like. I think I really liked my topic. I did um, gender inequality, but I looked more at the effects of social policies on the participation of women in work. And it's something that I really enjoyed and really enjoyed researching into. So, yeah. Another question was, should I get part-time work? Wait, let's just do the foundation. Okay, foundation, I wore my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter foundation. Um, I think if you need the money, um, definitely get, I worked throughout all of uni, apart from the last six months of uni. It helps you to get that professionalism, but also make sure you get that money aside of uni. Obviously you have student finance if you're eligible and things like that, but it's just nice to have that extra income because uni books and everything, travelling, it all adds up. Um... Obviously if you're renting it will definitely add up so you probably will have to get a part time job. Um, it's not hard when you just do Saturday, Sunday honestly. It, it can be stressful at times, um, trust me, because it was such a struggle to get time off during exam periods. And honestly I, I would just tell you straight up like I would just call in sick because that is a priority to me. And once I got so stressed, like I was crying every day. Like, this is where I was getting, I was really struggling with all the pressure because I wasn't just doing uni, I was working every weekend, I wasn't getting a day off, and I was doing YouTube, so everything that comes with that, it was just so much on my plate. My managers at work wanted me to work, like, literally the day before my exam, and they wouldn't give me the day off, and I'm just like, I'm sorry. I went to the doctors and explained my situation, and I literally broke down in front of them, I was like, I don't know what to do, like, I'm gonna flop my exam, like, I need to revise and things like that. To me, if I am at work and I have an exam the next day, that is so much time wasted on, like, that I could have used on revision. So I, I just explained everything to him. And he was a young doctor and he was just like, honestly, I'm just going to sign you off work because that is definitely not your priority. And I can see, he could see that I was really stressed. And he was like, your part-time work is not your whole life. You have worked so hard to be at uni. And he was so understanding. So if you feel at times that you are too stressed and you can't talk to anyone, go to your GP because they're really nice as well and they are, they are very understanding. I mean, they've been through it themselves. That's just if you feel really overwhelmed with situations. But yeah, if you want to get a part-time job, definitely. Just make sure that they're flexible with times. Make sure you keep days to take off before exam periods, not just for holidays. Okay, so for concealer, I did use a Tarte Shape Tape one, but today I'm going to use my Nabla concealer, the close-up concealer in Golden Beige. To be honest, I might get the one a bit darker because that one of the darker one wouldn't would have been too dark. But I think if I mix the two, it would be the perfect shade because I really like the finish of it. And then what I did do is take some of my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks and I just really contoured down cheeks. Just using a brush to blend that. I really feel like a stippling brush really blends the contour really nice and easy. And I also did take some of Espresso, which is a bit darker. You don't want any harsh lines. 
Okay, then I use some of my Huda Beauty uh, Easy Bake Powder in Kanafa. And I really baked under my eyes. I think this is very similar to the shade of the Sasha Buttercup powder. Very yellow. I kind of just use the brush, the Face Bake and Blend brush by Huda Beauty and I just brush it all off kind of instantly. I don't keep it on there for long. But it just gives such a beautiful finish. take a bit of bronzer I used my NYX one I think okay so the bronzer I used was the NYX matte bronzer in deep tan which is looks like this I used to use deep but it's more cool tone whilst it's a bit more warmer I only put a little bit because we've already got that contour there some of my decolletage area for highlight I didn't really put much highlight for some reason I don't know why because my skin is a bit more on the texture side at the moment but what I did use was the Bobbi Brown Bobbi Brown highlighter in Moon Moon Glow. Just put that on there. I also touched up on some eyeshadow on my lower lash line just roughly and I'm putting some scar on my lower lashes. I finished off with some Nip and Fab Mattifying Setting Spray. And then I went in with my MAC Cork Lip Pencil, just roughly around the edges. And then I used my Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Trendsetter. And that is it guys, I just need to brush my hair. Alright guys, so that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, a bit more of a ch chatty one and I hope I answered all your questions. I feel really weird that this chapter of my life is now over, um, but I feel like it's going to open a lot of doors in the future as well. So um, yeah, and I do really want to say a big thank you to all of you for all your sweet messages at, on Instagram and on here on YouTube like it's just so overwhelming I haven't been able to answer every single one of you but just know that I see your comments and I read them all the time and they just really really warm my heart up and it just make it's just crazy that you guys were there every step of the way like I started YouTube like just before kind of going to uni around that time so you guys have always been there or most of you have so yeah so just thank you so much for being here with me on my channel just showing so, so much love and support and just for all your sweet messages honestly thank you so much and yeah and don't forget remember to always believe in yourself work hard keep grinding it's not going to be easy but it will pay off in the end and yeah love you guys <laughs>